today, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw announced she is resigning. Outlaw will be leaving in a few weeks to take a new job in law enforcement. She's faced a number of challenges during her three and a half years in Philadelphia, from struggles with recruitment to police reform and concerns over officers' mental health. Danielle Outlaw took over as police commissioner in February of 2020, becoming the first black woman to be commissioner of the department. About a month later, Corporal James O'Connor was shot and killed while serving a warrant. He was the first officer killed in the line of duty in five years. Shortly after that, the pandemic hit, followed by civil unrest in the wake of the killing of George Floyd. Both she and Mayor Kenny received backlash for authorizing the use of tear gas during protests. Less than a year into the job, that following January, Outlaw said she would not resign over her department's handling of the protests. There were more calls for reform and transparency just last month after a police officer shot and killed 17-year-old Eddie Irizarry in Kensington. NBC 10 Sydney Long is live in Center City now and said you spoke to anti-violence groups as well as residents about their concerns. Well, hey, Jackie, good afternoon to you. Indeed, we did. Lots of people from all corners of the city are reacting and reflecting today about Commissioner's outlaw tenure here in the city. They're also voicing what their hopes are for her replacement as well as the future of curbing violent crime in a city of brotherly love. From North Philadelphia. Well, I think um, she's been doing a good job. To South Philly. God bless her for getting the opportunity to get out of the city. City residents are reacting to news that Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw is resigning. Honestly, I just think that's kind of how the nature of that business goes. Nothing but amazing things. Outlaw was the city's first black female commissioner. She's been here three and a half years. She is leaving Philly to work for the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey in the agency's office of the chief security. This as it streamlines technology and innovative security initiatives. I wasn't surprised. Anton Moore is the executive director of Philly's Unity in the Community. I can't say she did a bad job. That's a tough job. Being police commissioner, I'm a, I'm a realist and I understand that. A police commissioner cannot stop um, a person from shooting a gun. It comes as Philly's homicide rate is down right now, 20% compared to this time last year. The city has seen 295 murders as of yesterday. We had 369 this same time last year and a total of 516 homicides in 2022. Police officer. Outlaw's departure also happens to follow fallout of the department's admitted mishandling of the events leading up to and following a police officer shooting Eddie Irizarry. Usually when a new mayor is coming in, you know what I mean, old commissioner usually go, I mean, look at Ramsey, he served eight years under uh, Michael Nutter, Kenny came in, he moved on. Moore says whoever takes over, there must be teamwork and what he calls a bottom to the top approach. And when I say the bottom, working with community leaders, working with everyday neighborhoods, of course, gaining trust with community stakeholders and na everyday neighbors to make this work. Now, Commissioner Daniel Outlaw did send a letter to all Philadelphia police officers, this, police officers this morning. It reads in part, quote, together, we have proven that we are unbreakable and we have endured the most challenging times in the chronicles of policing. My colleague Lauren Mick will have much more on this coming up on both NBC 10 News at 5 and 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Center City, I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.